I just feel like it's too close, you're gonna see all the pimples. Hi, I'm Medina, welcome to our games room. Our client wanted to have a gaming room for her son and um, but we also needed to fit the gaming details and um, furniture into the room. It is a single room, uh, I don't know if it's classed as a double but it's preferably <laughs> for a, a single bed. Um, also there wasn't, there was like a really small um, wardrobe there but we did quite a few layouts and we figured that this would be the best layout based on all the items that needed to stay in the space. So one of them was actually the piano um, that needed, it was here before and it needed to stay. Um, but we needed also to have a bed and a gaming unit, so we game in centre. So we've um, decided to go for a high sleeper and the high sleepers are quite good just so that you can actually use underneath. And with this bed, it was literally just the high sleeper bed and we created the, the panelling in the side and the back just to give it that quite intimate uh, feel. And um, we also added the desk so that he's got somewhere to write add extra things like the CPU, which wasn't planned, but um, this space works really well. Moving on to beautiful blinds. Um, we decided to go for a Roman blind, which is my favourite, but uh, we chose this really playful fabric to go with the theme, so we went for a really dark room. So it might look black, but it's not black, it's actually a dark blue. Again, our wardrobe is a favourite. My, it's, it's one of my favourites, just because when we came in here, there was just too much in this corner. We've used this space for the wardrobe, which is excellent, and I just love how we've managed to do that. And then you've got the full use of one whole wall and the height for storage. And again, we went for a black finish with our red highlights, just as we have done in the rest of the room. Instead of going for a plain mirror, we went for a slightly um, tinted mirror um, so that it's not quite harsh, like there's a harsh contrast between the dark doors and the mirror. So everything blends quite nicely and I can see myself beautifully. <laughs> the wonderful, infamous skateboard light, which I'm just so in love with. And again, with this skateboard light, you've got different features. So you've got the LED uh, colored lights, and then you've also got spotlights in the middle. You don't have to use both at the same time, but you can use them at the same time or separately. This room is full of lights, full of color, um, reflective of the gaming, gaming vibes. This room needed plenty of storage. Um, which we've achieved with the wardrobe, we've achieved it with um, the under bed storage unit for the gaming centre and we also needed, well, we also had a really cute corner here that I thought would have, it would be nice to have some shelves but what I didn't want is to have shelving, square shelving or rectangular shelving that would have a sharp edge so we decided to put like a uh, triangular uh, shelving in the corner which um, our little client has actually used for his books which is great great use of the space and the corner ah, this is actually the best feature um, well one of the best features <laughs> in the room and it's a PlayStation a bespoke actually custom made design custom design and made um, PlayStation lighting and the cool thing about it is that it's dimmable so it goes bright and it goes light so you don't have to have the main lighting on in the room it's quite large <laughs> 